Yesterday we were talking about Michael Turner, who is uh, a hell of a running back and was for the Falcons. We've had Michael the Burner Turner on our show numerous times over the years, but we got into this conversation about Matt Ryan's article, Mike, and Matt was talking about his first year and how much pressure was taken off of him. So we said, you know what, let's grab Michael Turner to talk about this because the Falcons need to run the football, I think, a little bit more and be committed to it than what we've been. I know Arthur Smith wants to do that, but right. we haven't necessarily done it the way that I would hope. But Michael had a tremendously physical running. I mean, the run game was amazing, Carl. He ran, as we looked up, over 1,700 yards. That old line was physical and nasty. It was. And Michael Turner joins us on the WaitForward.com hotline. Michael, man, it's good to have you back on the show. You know, your ears must have been burning yesterday because <laughs> we were talking about your influence. And I'm just curious, like, talk about the coordinator in 2008. You get Matt Ryan, it's his rookie year. And the goal was to run the football. Like, that was established in camp. What was, you know, coming out of camp, the, the, the obvious statement? Because you had a rookie quarterback. Uh, yeah, we had a rookie quarterback. Um, but, uh, I, you know, truthfully, we didn't know we were going to run. I didn't know we were going to run the ball as much as we did in 2008. But I was ready for it. And uh, I was prepared to, uh, you know, to be that workhorse for the, for the team. And uh, like I said, we just going to the going to the season like uh, this is my first year starting. Uh, you know, Matt Ryan's first year coming into the NFL. So everything everything was like fresh and new. So it exactly wasn't like uh, – Set in stone what we were going to do offensively. Uh, we knew we wanted to run the book football. We wanted to be good at and effective at it, but we didn't know how much we needed to, but we had to. Um, and just uh, it all de depends on the development of Matt. And Matt did a good job developing throughout that season. And uh, we, we just set up each other. We had a good run game, a great run game. And, uh, you know, we were just nasty up front. And guys, we got, we bought into it and got after it. And we got after defense. And Mike, we were, uh, alluded to this during the intro. Guys like Mud Duck, you know, like, uh, you know, we talked about Todd McClure and Tyson Claybo and Harvey Dahl. I know, I mean, they might not have been Pro Bowl caliber, but you know, those guys ran, I mean, they towed the mail. Those guys are nasty. And it, about running the football is about an attitude. And those guys had it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's, um, you know, you know, teams are not going to just, uh, just let you line up and just run it down their throat, you know, but uh, you got to have some nastiness to it. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Height of a will, whose will is stronger. And uh, we came out on top of most end of that. Michael Turner ran for 16.99. That's Those numbers sound astounding mm. when you think about today's NFL and, and, what, <laughs> and what's going on. For real, like 376 yeah, yeah, carries? Yeah. Bro, if Brooking doesn't miss the line, yeah. I'm sorry, if he doesn't miss the tight end in that game against Arizona, Arizona doesn't get to play the Steelers in the Super Bowl, Michael. Michael, I know that's the other side yeah, of the yeah. football, but you guys went all the way to the playoffs mm -hmm. that year. Yeah, you know, man, the football game was a magical year. You know, no, nobody expected anything from us. Uh, but it was just us, us guys in the locker room, that coaching staff, and, uh, you know, in the front office, too. Uh, we all just believed each other. It was like we got a solid team, and uh, we, we're going to build something special here. Uh, and, and, and we did. It started in 2008, and we kept rolling from there. Michael Turner joining us here on Dukes and Bell. Guys, the correlation is we feel like we've got a really good run game with Tyler right. Algier. And, and Bijan Robinson. Um, and that is why we wanted to get Michael on. And I want to get your opinion and your take on this. Like, what do you see when we're attempting to run the football? And, and what do you think needs to change? Or where do we need to go with our run game to establish it even more so? Uh, you know, it's still early in the season. I, I'm not going to uh, critique and say uh, we need to change anything. Because, uh, you know, we were top five in rushing last year. Yep. Um, so I, but I believe those, they know what they're doing uh, as far as running the football, but like I said, but teams are looking for it now. So, so uh, Bijan just what fifth, fifth, sixth game of his young career. Uh, Tyler Algiers in his second year. So I mean, it's some it's some bumps in the road they still have to learn and, and get through. And it's, like I said, it's a battle of will though. Sometimes when the hole's not there, you got to make a hole. You know, right. it can't be all it can't be all dependent on the on the front front uh, front line to make holes for you, make some gaps for you. Sometimes you just got to be out there and be more determined. And uh, make some plays out there as a running back and uh, and be special. It is our man Michael the Burner Turner right now on the WadeFord.com hotline. We're live from Twin Peaks in Buckhead. For those who don't remember, Michael really carried the mail, and Mike Malarkey wanted to run that football, and that that was part of the game plan. Yeah. And today, yeah. I got to be honest. I mean, Carl just alluded to it. We ran the ball effectively last year. The offensive line is for the most part the same. We kind of think we upgraded left guard. Run the football is an attitude. So. 
do, when teams try to stop the run, how do you counter that? That's the thing. When guys put eight guys, the, the line is eight man in the box. But when guys make that commitment to stop the run, you got to be able to pivot, don't you? Yeah, you do. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know that's, the, that's the tough part of being in the NFL. You know, it's, you just, some, some games is not just going to go your way on the, on the ground. So uh, you got to be able to pass the ball. Sometimes the pass game opens up the run game, you know. And, uh, you, you know, we played, we played some good defense the last two weeks, um, and that's, that's been stopping the run. So we got another, another, another tough one this week with Tampa Bay. They don't let guys run on them. They had uh, Detroit had problems running mm-hmm. on them um, last week. So yeah. uh, it's going to be another challenge for them. And sometimes it's sometimes it's scheme, sometimes just, you know, like I said, it's a battle of will. Uh, some guys, you got to go out there and be special. You know, like everybody's just not going to just look, let you run free down the, down the field. So. Uh, we going I hope you, you guys just get better up front, and and it's also in the backfield and everywhere else. And sometimes receivers making a, a key block on the play, you know, can yeah. can 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 swing a run here or there. So it, it's it's all about a, a a total team effort in running the football. Michael, one of the things Matt said this week in that article, if you didn't get a chance to see it, I'm just paraphrasing here, but he was like, "I made mistakes." But I, as the season went along, I wasn't making the same mistakes that I was making earlier in the season, which allowed me to grow. And I'm curious to know what you think about Desmond Ritter from that standpoint, because, again, I've been more patient probably than most Falcon fans, but I'm like, look, he, he's learning on the job. This is what happens. And, you know, I think Matt was alluding to that. Mm-hmm. What do you see, uh, and, and do you feel like he will continue to get better? It's just the process, right? Yeah, definitely just the process. You know, he's had – you know, hasn't thrown the ball a lot in the NFL, so we don't. I, to me, I haven't really seen him. What, what is he as an NFL quarterback? Uh, he he right. just hasn't had the opportunities. You know, so the more and more he he's out there, the better and better he gets. You know, uh, you know he had his first 300 yard passing game uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we would love to see more of that, but I'm sure Arthur, uh, Arthur Smith would like to see 200 yards rushing. Right. From the backfield, so, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's like the yin and the yang, man. You know, like, but you know, we they want to get better at both sides of it. You know, it's not, we don't want to be one dimensional offense, and I'm sure you know that's what's mm-hmm. said in there. And uh, but the guy get the guy time. You know, he really he really doesn't have that many games under his belt to determine if, if he's the guy or not. And there's the rub. Michael Turner joins us, guys, in the WadeFord.com hotline. Because he didn't get enough starts. And Carl told me yesterday, stop bellyaching about the past. You can't change it. He didn't get enough starts last year. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, Michael, I believe this team is good enough based on what you just talked about, the defense and, and the studs that we have at the playmaker position. This could be a playoff team because the, the division seems so winnable, especially if we win Sunday. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's what I've been, I've been saying. That I've been on other shows and stuff uh, uh, in, the, in the preseason or whatever. And, not, and I've been saying – the Falcons can win the division. I, I believe they will win the division. Um, you know, just don't let, you know, these let, like one or two losses, everything is, you know, the sky is not falling. You know, right. <laughs> you know this is going to be a tough decision. It's going to go down the wire. Ten, 10 or 11 games might win this division, you know. So, right. um, you just got to go down and fight every week, you know, just win the games you're supposed to win and, and pull out some games you're not supposed to win. But honestly, get a get an identity, stick to it. And go from there. Michael Turner, man, we appreciate you. Uh, and again, for those who are not familiar with his numbers, you know, it's not just the year in which Matt's a, a rookie. He came back and broke off 1,300 in 2010 and 1,300 in 2011. You know, he, he was a machine, he, Carl. He only played 11 games in 2009, Mike, 2009. He would have had over 1,000 yards that season if he would have play, played the, you know. We should have gone to the Super Bowl in 2012, Carl. So. Hey, Michael, man. Everything we lost to the playoffs end up going to the Super Bowl. So it's true. Uh, it's true. We was, we was there. We just couldn't get over the hump, man. Mm. Well, listen, you are amazing. Uh, we appreciate your input, man. We were just talking about this, and we were like, let's get the man on because I think Matt understands, yeah. and Matt, <laughs> Matt appreciates what you were able to do for him. And listen, you go look at those numbers. Matt said, I think he, you think he threw 16 touchdowns in, in 2008. Oh. Hey, Mike. The part of that was because of what you were able to do. Mike, before we cut you loose, you yeah. were a free agent, right? So why did you pick Atlanta? Yeah. Arthur Blank wouldn't let me leave without signing the contract. We used to joke around, <laughs> ABC, Arthur Blank closes. Yeah, listen, uh, it matters, man. <laughs> Calais Campbell said the same thing this year. Right. He came in here. He could have went anywhere. 
And Calais was like, look, I like the vibe. I like what's going on. And he's been a big contributor. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, enjoy the weekend. Michael Turner, we appreciate you, man. We'll talk to you soon. Man, thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Um, and, and, guys, listen, Bijan is special. Nothing's changed. All right, as I like to say, seven, y'all. He has just got to be involved more in what we're trying to get accomplished. Right. And, again, I thought we went to London, Mike, and it was like you could tell. Art was like, we're going to establish Bijan today. You said it. Over 100 yards. What if he touches six, eight more times in London? What happens? But, I mean, think about Barry Sanders. And, and we we think – or Ladinian Tomlinson, right? Now, granted, they had really good quarterback on those teams, and that's the difference. Desmond Ritter is not established yet. When Ritter becomes established, you can do those things. When Ladinian Tomlinson – I know we can joke around about the quarterbacks he had in San Diego, but – he had a bona fide quarterback that was a real threat. He did. Barry Sanders. I know Scott Mitchell was kind of a clown, but still, no. Sanders is a little bit different animal. He was like superstar, but still, you you can't you cannot abandon the run game, and we can't abandon the no. game on Sunday. We got to stick with no. it. And, and by the way, I'm not going to disrespect Tyler Algier either. Whatever I we think, did, he should be the guy between the tackles. Whatever we whatever we did right. against Green Bay, that like, can, let's get back to that. But here's the problem. You could argue that Tampa Bay's front is better it than is. what Green Bay's thrown at us. It on is. Sunday. It is. But you can't abandon the run.